Thank you very much. So thank you very much. And it is a great privilege for, for me and for my colleagues from the uh, Western Balkan region to present you our, our uh, huge job which we provided in the last uh, two years. And uh, this is the second occasion that I can show you the live demonstration. Uh, uh, and this is a live demonstration of our uh, portal. First one was on a London summit in, uh, on 27 February among uh, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development and uh, uh, Western Balkan Prime Ministries and European Union. So, uh, initial idea for us in our uh, Western Balkan region was how we can actually assist to our companies. So, whenever you want to think and whenever you think what should we do in the registry uh, area, we need to follow our our company and to provide the services for them. So when the companies doesn't recognize and accept the frontiers among themselves, why should the business registry, uh, why should they do, do it? So um, initially, all the story starts with the bilateral agreement on 2013 among Macedonia and Serbia. Intention of that bilateral economic agreement was interconnection of the registries, and we start our activity. Uh, send a short address to the European Bank for the support for the project, and we start actually with uh, Serbian Business Registry Agency and Macedonian Business Registry Agency. But during the development of the project, uh, with our colleagues in the region, we uh, actually uh, decide to make and together. Uh, within this project uh, as more registries as, as possible. So for the purpose of the London presentation, we have with us actually five uh, um, uh, countries and six jurisdictions. We have Serbian Business Register Agency and uh, Macedonian Central Business uh, Central uh, uh, Registers Agency. We have also, and uh, those, those uh, two uh, registries are live on this database approximately uh, uh, more than uh, 400,000 uh, of companies. And uh, our dear colleagues from Slovenia, from IPES, colleagues from Albania, uh, National Business Center, and uh, jurisdictions in Bosnia and Herzegovina, both Republic of Srpska and Federation, Benelux and uh, Sarajevo, send us a bulk of data, which is few thousand of companies on the criteria of the regional interconnections. So, we have, uh, in future, with uh, these jurisdictions, we will have near one million companies. Uh, we have also with us Croatia, with the financial agency. They send after the London conference, and those data are not implemented in this this live search. But we will have them also, and a Romanian uh, central register is also also with us. And I hope they will finally confirm that with them we will have near three million of uh, business entities uh, uh, on the live searches on uh, our, our portal. Uh, on this demonstration, we have search companies. And uh, I will, through the internet, try to just show you typing a letter of any, starting the name of any company. Uh, you will uh, have a short preview uh, on the data about the company. You can see that I, my intention is not, not to read that. In this, in this case, but of course, uh, our idea was to provide, uh, following the data, to provide uh, 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 the services and my demonstration will be very, very uh, practical in this respect and uh, we want to just to show you what will be the, the, the preview. So here we will have, uh, since that this is a new laptop uh, for the moment, I. We'll try to open the list of the data services because we want to provide. Uh, uh, sorry for this, I tested, but it works. Uh, so, uh, idea idea was to provide a, a basic report about the company, consists uh, a list of the data about the status of the company, 
then uh, that is a wider report, full report of the company, which consists of the data uh, about the uh, financial results, legal documents, legal papers. Sorry for this. I, ha I have a video, video, but maybe I can go into uh, you. Yeah, I will try try to do to do it for the moment. Does the second something is yeah. Sorry. Uh, the main issue here with this explanation is that, and uh, what is actually the difference? I'm opening this, now it works, sorry for this. A uh, very important thing when we are discussing about the ways of the report is an acceptance of the methodology. What is the methodology? So the experts, teams from the registries, make a precise description what is basic company profile, what is the methodology, and everything should be very clear to who uh, came outside and take a look on those reports, can have uh, uh, that kind of uh, information and description, precise description of uh, uh, a particular, particular service. So, uh, I will show you just a sample of uh, uh, this kind of uh, the report because I think that the preview will tell you more words than, and the picture will tell you more words than everything, anything else. Just uh, uh, remind for the moment this aspect of prizes. Uh, I need to mention here one principle because we are public institutions, a uh, uh, big set of a data bill will be free of charge and a big set of uh, initial reports for the companies will be free of charge. Another part, because we need to, all of us are self-sustainable institutions, must be financed by some principles. One of them will be, for example, a principle of subscription or uh, we're easily approached, easily, easily paid. Uh, uh, we are using this uh, currency, Euro, because we have among eight jurisdictions, seven different currencies. So we need to use one currency for all calculation. But in basic report, for example, I would like to show you the, uh, some details. This report will be free of charge. It's a legal status, business name, contact data, incorporation data. This is uh, business activity, capital structure, ownership structure of uh, any company and uh, uh, directors, representatives, and in another way, so detailed report, we will have a combination of, a, of a additional financial data. Financial data are also very, very important for us. One of the services which we are, and I will use just like an example, uh, Improving the investment climate in our region is our huge goal. So what can we do to provide the information, multi-country comparisons among the countries in the region? So in the preview of the registries, we can use the example of Macedonia. Uh, we will have jurisdiction profile, number of the companies, and uh, we, have, we will have uh, impact into the region. It is very important to know that uh, among those companies and within the region, we have uh, till now approximately uh, 50,000 of mutually registered business entities. So there is a network actually among the companies. So we need to follow to uh, provide the appropriate standards for them. And here is that kind of a network. So for the planned countries and jurisdictions who will be involved, I'm uh, actually uh, sure that we will have all the jurisdiction. We uh, probably will have very soon Kosovo Business Registration Agency. We will have uh, uh, some discussions with Bulgarian colleagues because we are starting some contacts and I think that Bulgaria will be important for the membership in our European Registry Association. We don't have a contact with them. Greece also, why not? The doors are open, but uh, following those impact and those standards. So this is a preview of the companies registered in, I think I opened Macedonia, yeah? in Macedonia. So number of companies from Serbia, number of employees. So the impact among the, within the region is quietly, quietly uh, big, very big impact. And just for this preview, I would like to show you the uh, one tool, find the partner tool which means if I want 
to uh, reach some partner, some business partner uh, uh, in the region, I can choose and try to choose that partner by the country or all of them by the sector. I will use, I don't know, some sort of, an, I don't know, construction, for example. Acti business activity, it is a statistical size of the company, total assets, number of employees, net profit, etc., uh, etc., et equity capital. So uh, when we are uh, asking for the, for the search, I need to type the password for the second, sorry. We will got that within within uh, within a minute, within a few seconds, and uh, we will got the list of those companies which we are interested. So I choose construction, and uh, with this search, it is I don't know 4,000 or something. With this, with this criteria, purchase the report, uh, confirm or pay that kind of a report, and then. I will got, I will got the, the the report, which means just the preview and the, the list of those companies interested partnerships. It's a huge, it's a 4,000 in, in in line. In this case, of course, in some another, it's 10 companies, 12 companies. But the main thing is that we are dealing within the project with added value information, with added value services, with added value products. I will stop now this sort of demonstration and skip uh, just in short preview. Our idea is uh, not to compete with the services of uh, local registries. Local registries will work their own job. Added value here are multi-country, multilingual services for the customers, sorry. We, uh, the setup and the, 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 the goals are very clear. I think that I already mentioned them. Uh, maybe tomorrow, just to say that we are thinking about the extension of the project in the respect of mutual recognition of documents. For example, in some countries we have, a re uh, we have a registries and or central records of disqualified entities. Today we have the case that if you are somehow disqualified or prosecuted in the court in, I don't know, Serbia, you can move to Macedonia and start your business because they don't have any information. But if we are mutually recognized criminal prosecution acts, etc., etc., why shouldn't we exchange that kind of a data? So if, you, if it is forbidden for you to deal with a business for some time, of course, by the court or by some decision for three months, six months, two years, we should forbid also in the, re in the region or through the system that, to implement that uh, kind of an activity. Another thing is beneficial ownership joint register. Why not add that kind of a data? Why not? Or mutually uh, re uh, register and mutually deal with, uh, with, the, the, with the branch offices. It is also, you can recognize that we are fulfilling through this activity also European standards. So it is a very good training, training for all of us to reach that, but we have, I think, a very good tool for us. We are not building the centralized databases. Datas are depersonalized and locked, and uh, it means that uh, in the cloud we, we will have just a, a short set of a data to provide this fast search, it's a technical issue. But other data and other communication will go on directly to the register, communicate through the web services, and provide back the information in the real time. So uh, we uh, feel that this kind of a services will be very useful for our companies and will be a very good tool for increasing the cooperation, improving the cooperation among among uh, among uh, businessmen and. Uh, sole traders. We have also some other legal forms. I think we are implemented here, associations, but it is some differences among the registries, so it is not so easy always to uh, solve that kind of an issue, but we are working very hard on joint methodologies. I already uh, shown that to you, and uh, we are sure that this agenda is slightly moving because we are, uh, our intention is to provide the legal setup in third quarter of this year, 
and to go alive by our agreement. Of course, we have the obligation to go alive with Serbia and Macedonia. We hope that uh, Slovenia, the, the Bosnia, Albania will uh, join us uh, from this demo, demo version. This is nothing new for them, but it was a huge job for all of us. And uh, we passed uh, a lot of uh, good, good uh, joint work on this, and I hope it wouldn't be so difficult for them. And I hope we'll have 10 countries and, uh, and maybe more here uh, uh, with an intention to provide uh, good services to all of them. Uh, I am now the presenter, but I always want to express my gratitude to my colleagues. So it is our joint work from these institutions and uh, I hope that the list of institutions be, will be uh, as more big as possible because uh, we are trying to deal our best to provide the high visibility for all of us and to, and to increase this number of 50,000 companies and sole traders who are working in the region to increase that and uh, them to, to go on and to uh, provide more registration since that the data are, you know, we can talk and speak uh, a lot about everything, but this is not a political project. This is not the, the uh, this is a project with the joint ownership of all registries. I need to mention that we are working together, and uh, I'm uh, quite sure. And all of us are very optimistical with the business community. We have some communications, uh, and they send uh, to us uh, their proposal. I forgot, sorry, very much to show you that. On a personal searches, we all, all, also have them, and uh, we, uh, if you are a businessman and sitting on a table in the restaurant and talk, or in, in the office talk with some business partner through the portal, you can check the notification watchdog services about the changes in all eight countries, personal changes and the company changes, and that will be provided to you. The platform is ready to be launched on the mobile platform also. So we are very optimistic and uh, a lot of uh, demands are related directly to the, the, from the dialogue with, with the companies and they are very, very interested and we are very optimistic in this project. So thank you, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Sonko. Kanoe, are you up next or is it Rolf? Oh, ah.